Hello friends, this is lecture number 3 of complex analysis and today we are going to the uh, prove Euler's formula. Okay, so I have already made two lectures, uh, two, uh, I have already recorded two videos and those are uploaded. Uh, links are given in the description box. Now, now you say, uh, in the first video we have uh, discussed about uh, complex number. So brief revision of complex numbers and their graphical representation and in the second lecture I have uh, you know shown how to solve problems based on uh, which are asked based on these topics okay now today our topic is Euler's formula right so now you see uh, before we prove this Please subscribe to the channel if you are new to my channel inspire me to create new contents for you and help me to grow my channel okay so stay connected and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded okay when the lecture 4 will be uploaded it gonna appear at the end of this video okay so keep watching so now let's start in order to prove this uh, formula we must know three very important results and those are e to the power x is equal to this right? e to the power x is equal to 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial x cube by 3 factorial and x4 by 4 factorial and so on right and so on right and next result is cos x is equal to cos x is equal to this so this is another important result that we're gonna need to prove this formula cos x equal to this 1 minus x square by factorial 2 plus x to the power 4 by factorial 4 minus again x to the power 6 by factorial 6 and so on right so and next result is next result is sin x is equal to this so x minus x cube by factorial 3 plus x to the power 5 by factorial 5 minus x to the power 7 by factorial 7 and so on so these three results are very important right so now you see uh, just uh, let me copy these results and let me go to the next slide okay now here you can see, you see from this result I have taken a new slide and from this result what we can write we can find e to the power i x just replace the x by i x then what you gonna have 1 plus instead of this x we're gonna write i x right i x by factorial 1 then plus x is gonna be equal to 1 uh, sorry i x whole square by factorial 2 then x cube gonna be i x cube factorial 3 factorial 3 and i x whole to the power 4 divided by factorial 4 and so on right now you see when you have i to the power even power I, uh, I square then it gonna be minus 1 when you have uh, if you have I only then I remains I when you have I cube then it gonna be I square into I that's gonna be minus I right because I square is minus 1 minus 1 into I that's minus I and uh, similarly I to the power 4 that's gonna be uh, you know I square again square it's gonna be minus 1 whole square right that's gonna be plus one right and then you can have uh, i to the power five so then it's gonna be i to the power four into i and i to the power four is plus one so it can remain again i right and so so if that is the case then you know from this result from this result what we can have just uh, let me keep these things below here yeah. just wait
okay then one remains one then the second term remains unchanged and third term gonna be you know minus x square by factorial 2 right and the third term gonna be uh, when we have i cube then we have minus i so here minus i x cube by factorial 3 then next term uh, we have got i to the power 4 is equal to plus 1 so that's that's going to be uh, x to the power 4 by factorial 4 and i to the power 5 is i again so it's going to be you know plus plus x to the power 4 sorry not 4 x to the power 5 by factorial 5 and so on right oh let me clean this terms uh, i have written below just uh, let me clean this part okay now you see if you observe the terms this this and uh, uh sorry i forgot here to put the i this okay because i to the power five yeah, so you know you know the term next to this is i x whole to the power five divided by factorial five right this is the next term so i to the power five is i to the power four into i i to the power four means i square whole square right i square whole square into i so i square is minus one again square so it's going to be plus one into i that's going to be i right so that's how we got this result i x to the power 5 by factorial 5 now you see from this three and uh, we're gonna have more terms but from this three you can see you can take i common right you can take i common let me write here uh, just okay you can take i common if you take i common then within bracket you can have x by factorial 1 plus and uh, x to the if you take i common from here then x cube by factorial 3 then from this term you're gonna have you know x to the power 5 that should be minus here you see this sign was minus so here it is minus and then next plus uh, this term is positive so plus x to the power 5 by factorial 5 and uh, dot 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 so on you're gonna get this right so now uh, and the remaining terms are 1 uh, minus x square by factorial 2 plus x to the power 4 by uh, factorial 4 so let me write those first here uh, 1 plus sorry not plus next term is minus minus x square by factorial 2 then the next term is this plus x to the power 4 by factorial 4 and uh, the next term going to be uh, here you see the next term going to be i x to the power 6 by factorial 6 right and uh, this is going to be i square then whole to the power 3 that's going to be minus 1 cube and uh, that's going to be minus 1 okay so minus 6 uh, sorry minus x to the power 6 by factorial 6 that's going to be the term so plus dot 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 so on that's what we're going to have so here we're going to have plus right so hope you have understood this uh, so this should be just wait okay so between them and this should be plus because here you see this term was positive right so this is that term this one is this right so hope you have understood this now you can see if you compare these two with these two results right then what is this this is your cos x and this is your this is i into this is your sin x right so that means e to the power i x is equal to cos x plus i sin x right so hope you have understood this so now 
just uh, let me write this one as uh, uh, just width let me clean this part okay just wait just wait just do it to give me a second okay now uh, let me take this one as equation number one and this one as equation number two and this one as equation number three okay so here what we have done just replacing x by i x in equation number one we have got this result right so here uh, now in this result we're going to use equation number two and equation number three and if we use that then we're going to have this result so, uh, sorry this series is going to be replaced by cos x and this series is going to be replaced by sine x i sine x right so just let me copy this let me go to the new slide okay just wait give me a second okay let me copy this so now we can say e to the power i x is equal to cos x plus i sine x using 2 and 3 right so from 2 this is replaced by cos x and from 3 this is replaced by sine x right so this is proof this is the Euler's formula so and okay. uh, and one more thing let me tell you uh, that uh, this is called Euler's identity if you put uh, e to the power i pi so if you replace the x by pi then you're gonna have cos pi plus i sine pi right then e to the power i pi cos pi is equal to minus one and sine pi is equal to zero sine pi is equal to zero that's why you're gonna have zero here and which is gonna be equal to uh, this is gonna imply that 1 pi plus 1 is equal to 0. This is Euler's identity. So, hope uh, you like this lecture. And if you like this lecture, please hit the thumbs up button. And also share with your friends. Support me to grow my channel. And inspire me to create new contents for you. And also hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded and stay connected see you in the next video bye bye